Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now hosted on the Money Phoenix Game Channel. Today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do Left 4 Dead 2, PC, split screen, and using two PS2 game controllers, or you could use two PC USB game controllers, emulate Xbox 360 game controllers. So let's do this. You go to the more info section, I got a link where you can download an older copy of X360 CE, download it, and extract it into your Left 4 Dead 2 folder. Okay, so what we're going to do first is let's go ahead and configure our controllers. And it's going to ask you to create an i9 file and a DLL file, so go ahead and do that. If you're curious about the type of PS2 adapter I'm using, take a look in the bottom left-hand corner of this video. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for settings both locally and also for online. So I just finished that process there. Great. Now here for controller 2, we test the buttons, A, B, X, Y, triggers, select start, D-pad. Make sure you enable D-pad, so go to D-pads, D-pad 1. And now that's working great. Now the same thing with controller one, ABXY, triggers, select start, analogs, D pads, let's enable D pads real quick here. Go to D pads, D pads one. And then we're good to go. Click on save. One thing you also want to do just in case is to make sure your controller is working properly, go into your bin folder and scroll all the way down to something called X input one underscore three. And I just renamed this as space orig dot dll if you don't do that your game controller is not going to work properly inside left 4 dead 2 and now um, one thing you, do, you should probably do is if you haven't done already is get all the latest patches for this game so there's a link in the more info section where you go to the tungle wiki there's a lot of good updates here for this game and update yourself to the latest version and also as part of those downloads there's something called the sfk server launcher so we'll go ahead download that package and run it and what it looks like when you run it from a shortcut off of my desktop here, it's going to look like this screen. So I won't give myself a server name like test server or just test server there. Select the game mode. Let's do cooperative, for example. Let's pick a campaign. Let's do uh, death toll map. Let's say boathouse finale. Difficulty, normal is fine for now. And I'm going to do a land game. And uh, I'm going to do a split screen. And for player two, I'll just leave it as player two. That's fine. And then what you do next is literally just click on start server and your game is going to start. So with that said, let's jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial split screen. It's going to be awesome. All right, sweet. So we are in the game of Left 4 Dead 2. So by default, my controllers work. If yours don't work, just go ahead, open your console, type in EXEC space 360 controller, press enter, and then you're good to go. So take a look in the camera, guys. Here's the bottom player. I'm jumping. I'm Zoe. So here I am walking around. Look at the camera. Shooting around, you know, Weapons jumping. Here. So now let's go to my other controller. Now I'm gonna be on the top screen, and here I'm Bill, and we go in front of Zoe here. Hey Zoe, how you doing? Huh? You like that? So there, split screen, two controllers, Left 4 Dead 2, X360 C, and a lot of good times. You guys like this video? See if you like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, if you have any questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.